All right, Sean Wong, Sean Wong. Call Hung Lai La, Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash. Double on the city elves and the apostles of greatness, know who taught me is true. And double side test, how you ought him, the man that I prophesied and laid me throughout the four winds of this earth, pushing this truth without righteousness and sincerity. Sean Wong to you, brother. And to the Yahweh, the few sisters, instead of listening and learning to you, I say Sean Wong. All right, coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit of power. Y'all bless me, y'all shy. Go willing to edify and faith the lambs, and y'all bless me, y'all shy. Praise, let's be edifying and straight to the point. Okay? All right, we're going to jump right into it, man. Okay? Because, <laughs> as you can read, okay, these uh folks that's protesting against these, you know, these so-called mandates, they're not going to stop. But what these people don't realize is that Esau's not going to stop either. Esau is determined to bring in his NWO. Okay? Pretty soon, the people are going to be fighting one another. Okay? Fighting against the government. And this is what it's all leading to. Okay? You see what's going on in Canada and throughout the world and throughout parts of America. Okay? Look, people are fed up. And you can understand, people are fed up, alright? People should say, you know, they didn't sign up for this. They didn't sign up for, the, you know, their government telling them what to do and all that. No. Because so people are fed up with the BS. People are waking up, alright? So let's read a little bit. It says, protesters in Al Alberta says they won't end their demonstration until all, you know what, restrictions are we we is fine, okay? So <laughs> these folks ain't gonna stop. <clears throat> Let's read it. Tens of thousands of truckers and supporters in Canada <clears throat> excuse me had had more success in push back on lame and useless <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me. Useless C nineteen restrictions and mandates than protesters in any other Western country. But many of them say they're not quite satisfied. <laughs> Says, in fact, anti pandemic and mandates demonstrations in the province of Alberta says they will continue protesting until all mandates and restrictions are lifted. And these devils are not going to lift up and lift those mandates or anything like that. They're going to go farther than that. Okay? Alright? Because these devils, they know that these uh, mandates ain't working. And they're going to come with the next thing. Okay? And you know what that next thing is. The MOTB, man. Okay? So, <laughs> these devils are not going to stop. They got an agenda to fulfill. And they see you, you know, those people out there protesting... They're already labeling these truckers terrorists, all right? Saying they commend a terrorist act against the government, <laughs> you know? So, uh, let's see. John Van Rinke, you, whatever the hell that person's name is, a feedlot operator from Codale. Alberta told the Canadian press he and other demonstrations are blocking highways, blocking Highway 4 because they are acting in solidarity with the trucking, trucker convoy besieging the country's, it's like the county's capital of Ottawa in protest of mandates and other restrictions. Okay, so you see, all right, folks are fed up, man. Okay, let's see, I'm not going to really read all of this, <clears throat> but hey, these folks have had enough, man, alright, <laughs> and meanwhile, while they're doing this, man, the shells are getting empty, <laughs> the shells are getting empty, you know, less food on the shelves and things like that, so, you know, this place is over with, man. It's over with. Alright? You're seeing uprises and uproars of the people, man. People are tired. People are fed up. Alright? 
without further ado, let's get to scriptures. I ain't want to make this too long. Second Israel chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past which I told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And that's what's happening. The Lord Yahweh Bashmiel Shai is about to pay a visit to this world which he made. Alright, and he's doing that. Verse 3. Therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Alright, and you're seeing that. Uproars of the people. People are fed up. People are tired of the, you know, of the, these restrictions, the un, unrighteous decrees, okay? Alright. Verse 4. Then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. <clears throat> Verse 5. Like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. And the end is being manifest right before your eyes. Okay? And you're going to have more unrighteous decrees to come. Because these devils ain't going to stop. They're not going to stop. Okay? Isaiah 10 and 1. It reads, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Okay? These people are not going to stop. Just because you're protesting. I mean, hell. <laughs> you know? These devils got something to accomplish. Alright? And they're trying to achieve what? And NWO. <clears throat> this is uh, Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. So the Lord Yahweh is going to disappoint uh, these devils' plans. Alright? Basically, you got Edomites protesting against this stuff, man. Okay? Because, hey, Esau, Edom, these devils, these people love their freedom. Alright, they're all about freedom. I mean, one thing, you know, you don't want to get in the way of is their freedom, man. Alright, taking away your freedoms and your rights. Okay. Let's see. I have a scripture in mind too. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep it moving. Alright. Isaiah 19 verse 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And they shall fight every one against his brother and every one against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. Okay? And you're going to see that here. Okay? You're already seeing a glimpse of it. But that goes to show you that these devils, hey, Esau, Edom, these Edomites, they're divided. Okay? All right? They're divided. And you know what? Let's get that scripture, man. Let's go to Mark. Mark chapter 3 and verse 20. Verse 23, and he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. Esau is divided against themselves. All right. You got one side that's 40 NW and the other side that's not. All right. Which is the low level Edomites. They're not going to stand for it. Okay. Verse 25, and if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Verse 26, and if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but have an end. Okay? And his double end is near. Alright? Alright? Let's continue. <clears throat> Second Nicholas chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Alright? For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings, nor princes, in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. They're not regarding their, their prime minister up there in uh, Canada. Alright? They ain't, they ain't do, thinking about the president here, man. Okay? So, hey, people are just taking matters into their own hands. And say enough is enough. Alright. People have had enough. And people are fed up. Okay. Verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city. And shall not be able. Okay. Pretty much what I've heard. Okay. Folks that live in They can't get to work. Okay. People are afraid to leave their home. Because of the 
convoy and stuff like that, man. So people, you know, you know, pretty soon you ain't gonna be able to leave home because martial law checkpoints. You're gonna have to have a a certain thing in order to go travel and go anywhere, basically. Okay. Verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy the houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and great tribulation. Okay? So this is the times we're in, man. Okay? Lack of bread, lack of food. Okay? Okay? When there's no more food on the shelves, okay, because the truckers, hey, the truckers will keep this place going and keep the food going, all right? And without the truckers, man, hey, <laughs> yeah, you see what's going on in most parts of, and, you know, in most parts of America in your grocery stores, empty shelves, all right? And this is going to lead to more empty shelves, man. These truckers ain't playing, <laughs> all right? They are not playing, man, okay? <laughs> Second Israel chapter six and verse twenty two. And suddenly shall the song places appear on song. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Okay? This is where we at, man. Okay? This is where we at. And it's hey. It's gonna get a lot worse before it gets better, man. Okay? So with that, I'm gonna end the lesson here. I pray this lesson was edifying. All praises to Yah Bashim Yah Shai. By Shemra Kakadash, Devil Loves to the Yells and the Apostles of Great Millstone, who taught me is true. And double side taste to how you the men that are prophesied and named throughout the four winds of this earth, present true with our righteousness and sincerity. See you with another lesson soon, Lord Wun, Kwam Yasharan, Shan Wam, Wa Ba Ba Ba, Ba 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 Ba